Now at Target 12 Consumer Investigation, we've been tracking for more than a year. More kids' makeup is being recalled. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration is warning consumers to stop using two more products that tested positive for asbestos, a known carcinogen. The FDA says the latest round of recalls includes makeup from two companies, Claire's and Beauty Plus Global. Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell joins us now with the information you need to know. Susan? Mike and Caroline, talc is used to make lots of cosmetics. The FDA says it's concerned talc-based products could be contaminated with asbestos depending on where the talc is mined. So the agency is continuing to investigate and test makeup. In March, Claire's told Target 12 it no longer sold talc-based cosmetics. But this product, the Jojo Siwa makeup set, was made with talc according to the packaging. The Food and Drug Administration says the product tested positive for asbestos. Now Claire's is offering refunds to anyone who bought it. Now we're doing the blush. A Barrington mom first raised concerns about the safety of Claire's makeup back in 2017. Christiana Warner had her daughter's makeup tested through the law firm where she worked. The results showed asbestos. Shock. You're just shocked. Then the FDA did its own testing and also discovered asbestos in some makeup, which led to recalls of these three products this March. The cosmetic industry. Attorney John Deaton, who specializes in asbestos litigation, explained how asbestos can end up in talc-based products. When you think about the talc manufacturing process, it's only the pulled it out of the ground and pulverized it, right? So if that ground has asbestos too, you're going to get contamination. The FDA also discovered asbestos in this product, the Beauty Plus Global Contour Effects Palette 2. The company recalled the makeup but did not respond to Target 12's request for comment. In a statement, the FDA said it takes these findings and our obligation to protect consumers seriously. But the agency doesn't have much regulatory power over the cosmetics industry. As we've reported, federal lawmakers are considering a bill that would require warning labels on kids' makeup that could contain asbestos. In its recall announcement, Claire said it continues to have confidence in the safety and composition of its products. The company did not respond directly to our question about why a talc-based product remained on store shelves two months after the company vowed it would no longer sell cosmetics with talc in them. With the Target 12 investigator, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.